Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed this really pretty soft glam look, which is quite easy to follow. I did this look the other day and I thought, you know what, let me film this. It's actually really pretty and it's quite simple as well. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So the first step, I'm just taking the Benefit Professional Primer and I'm just putting that on my T-zone, focusing where I mainly get oily throughout the day. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation and I'm using the shade Medium Beige and I'm just going to pat that into my skin. I really like this foundation, it has such full coverage and that's exactly what I want for this look. This foundation has actually become one of my favourite foundations just because it's so full coverage and it really does hide any red marks on my face and it's a drugstore product which is great. So to just conceal any spots that I have, I'm just taking the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C7 and I'm just going to dot that over where I want some more coverage. Then taking the same makeup sponge I used earlier, I'm just going to blend that out. For concealer today, I'm going to be using the Nip and Fab Concealer in the shade 5 and I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes, on my nose and on my forehead just to give that really highlighted effect and to cover up any bags that I've got going underneath my eyes. Then I'm going to take the Real Techniques blending sponge and I'm just going to blend that all out until it's nice and even. I know it looks really light on camera but I like the way it looks in real life because it gives that really three dimensional look to my face. Okay, so to set all the cream into place, I'm going to take this Rimmel London transparent powder and a big fluffy brush and just pat that into my skin, making sure it's nice and mattified before I go in with contour. For contouring today, I'm going to be using the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and just this angled blending brush and I'm just going to give myself some cheekbones then I'm going to go over the forehead and underneath my chin just to really give that contoured effect So I'm actually going to contour my nose today using this fluffy blending brush and the Hoola Benefit powder and I'm just going to run that down the sides of my nose just to give it a bit of a slimmer effect. Now I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed and this big Real Techniques brush and just bronze up the rest of my face a little bit more. Moving on to eyes, I'm going to be using this Morphe 15D Day Slayer palette and I'm going to be taking the shade Upbeat on this Morphe blending brush and I'm just going to run that directly through my crease. Okay, so now I'm just going to take the shade Editor from the same Morphe palette and I'm just going to run that through 
my crease again, mixing it in with the transition shade I just put down, just to make it a bit more, give my eyes a bit more depth and just to make it a bit darker. Okay, so now that I'm happy with the way it's all come together, I'm just going to take that same concealer we used earlier the, from Makeup Revolution and I'm just going to put that onto my lid just so that it's a nice clean base for the next colour we're going to put down. So now I'm just taking this black eyeliner pencil from Kiko and I'm running that over my lash line just because I wanted to do a eyeliner look but I'm no good with liquid eyeliner so I thought let me try it with a pencil so I'm just taking it really slow and just patting the product on and then kind of blending it out bringing it back towards the end of my eye So now I'm just taking this highlighter from Urban Decay on a flat brush and I'm just going to put that directly on my lid. Um, I wasn't actually too sure if I liked this but it actually turned out alright because I really liked the glitter in it and it gave a little something to the eyes. So I'm just going to take this mascara from Lancome which is the Doll Eyes Mascara and I'm just going to do a quick layer of mascara over my lashes. I really like this mascara, I definitely need to stock up because it's such a good mascara. So now that I've added lashes and finished off my other eye off camera, I'm just going to take the shade editor on a flat Morphe brush and I'm just going to run that underneath my eyes. So I'm just going to run a layer of mascara on my bottom lashes and my top lashes just to bring it together on the bottom half. Then using the same pencil eyeliner from Kiko, I'm just going to run that through my waterline. I just think this brought the whole look together, I just made it a bit more dramatic, which I really liked. So for highlight today, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the shade Sunray. And I'm just going to be using this little small end of the Urban Decay brush and I'm just going to dust that all over my cheekbones and the tip of my nose just to really highlight my face and make it look nice and glowy. Then I'm just taking the shade Snow from the same glow kit and I'm just going to run that in my inner corners and to highlight my brow bone. So for lips today I'm going to take MAC Strip Down and I'm just going to overline my lips a little bit, not anything too dramatic, I just think this is just the perfect nude, I absolutely love this lip liner. So now I'm just taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Naked and I'm just going to run that in the middle of my lips and then blend it together with my finger. And to finish off the whole look, I'm gonna be taking the setting spray from Urban Decay and I'm just gonna drown my face in that because I don't want this makeup to go anywhere. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you wanna see more videos like this, then make sure to give me a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.